just a short video. It's raining. It's getting on for one o'clock in the afternoon, I think. I'm absolutely starving because I've been working and um, as you can see I've been changing things around and cleaning up and sweeping up and look at those glorious sweet peas and watering plants and I'm tidying up the barn and it's <laughs> just and 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 lots and lots of stuff but and I've got things to sort out in here now as well um, and I've also been in there doing some writing and uh, I haven't done any sewing today yet but what I wanted to do was to show you what I'm concocting for my lunch because this is how I roll I get incredibly um, energetic and I, I work like a Trojan <laughs> and then I get incredibly hungry and I've got to have something quick so I've got some potatoes and some vegetables in my little electric steamer over there and um, I've been washing carrots you can see lovely homegrown carrots and um, getting some greens ready and I'm making myself what I call a big food bowl <laughs> so I'm going to show you what I've put in here so far okay so there's some chopped up greens oh, let me just use a little fork I'll try to be a wee bit professional here because you know me and my kitchen exploits I am most unprofessional and I always say to people there's lots and lots of people making videos on YouTube about making food please I refer you to them <laughs> anyway so we've got some chopped uh, greens it's all different kinds of you know lettuces and you know greens um, some chopped cucumber. I finally chop everything. Um, a tin of um, chickpeas. Um, some grated carrot. Some chopped red onion. You can see here I've got some more left to put back in the fridge. So that's so far so good. So I'm going to be adding to that then um, the vegetables that I'm cooking in my cooker which are basically potatoes and peas and spinach and some broad beans. To that, what I may do, um, I'll probably put some pumpkin seeds and sunflower seeds into the Nutribullet, just a small handful of each, blitz them and kind of use them as a dressing to go over the top of the salad. I might even add some pickled red cabbage and I might even add some chopped cornishons. I may even add some chopped apricots. Um, then in with that I've got chilli and garlic seasoning which I absolutely adore. I've got the barbecue mix seasoning which is hot chilli which I love. I've got some herb and air, um, salt, a little bit of that. I might add some sweet paprika. I'll definitely add smoked paprika because I just love that. Then, to top it all, rebel chilli. Now this one I love because you see I try to keep things as local as possible. This one is made in Ireland. Okay, and I like it because the ingredients are very, very simple. And consequently, the calorific value is very, very low. So it says, carefully blended with whole cayenne chilli, 18%, ginger, 2.5%, lemongrass, 2.5%, sugar, so that's well down on the list, vinegar, tamari, that's water, soya bean, salt, spirit vinegar, corn flour and salt. It's delicious. It's a wee bit more expensive, but it's also in a glass bottle, which is recyclable, okay? So that's my lunch um, and I may even add some chopped basil to that, look this, this is Irish basil. Again it's about trying to support locally grown food or homegrown food you know. So someone said to me on Facebook yesterday, oh that looks lovely, what have you put into it, what's the ingredients? Well I do, I do try to explain to people, I very rarely follow recipes, I don't like being told what to do so I don't. I don't find, recipes always seem ridiculous because you've got to go shopping for the recipe, okay? Whereas my attitude is, 
open your fridge, open your cupboards, what have you got in there? Concoct. <laughs> so, this is like, um, I suppose, <laughs> you can imagine, this is my cauldron, my cauldron of health, right? And um, I'm the kitchen witch. <laughs> Stupid. But there you go. So I'm going to finish off now. I'm going to have this enormous bowl of stuff that I can keep on going back to. I'll sort of eat it over the course of about an hour because I'm going to sit down and, um, you know, read a little book. And uh, I like to read at the table and um, just chomp away. So there we go, folks. Oh. And there's my little thing saying it's got to the right temperature and now it's going to be 10 minutes. So that's cool. Yeah, Jack, you can look at me, okay? That's for sure. Uh, you've had your crackers this morning and I've filled up your food bowl. So you can stop that nonsense. Oh, I'm ravenous. I may have to chomp on a couple of almonds just to take the edge of my hunger. So just to round it up as well, um, this is the whole food plant-based system of eating, which is incredibly nutritious and um, you don't need a recipe book, you just need a good old dose of common sense. You know what's good for you, you know the kind of food that you need, you know, um, you don't need someone to tell you. Get your food together and make yourself a cauldron of health. <laughs> Blessings to you all.